So here we have about sword and buckler between myself and Matthew Boyd, the Provost of Cicada Launceston. Oh, yes. Now the first hit comes here. I'm a little disappointed with this. We both cross each other inside and we're both looking to cut to the outside. Uh, I make way too big a preparation and Matthew's able to cut in while I'm doing the preparation into the outside of my arm. Now, here comes the second hit. Uh, again, I've made an error. I've cut. Matthew's parried. He's allowed himself to go down to Gardened. Now, he comes in in Gardened and he's coaxed me to do a second attack, which he's then flipped away and cut into my head. I shouldn't have made that second attack. I should have kept my, my um, sword in reserve for either a parry or a cut when it could do some good. Now, get one back here. So I'm cutting and it hits onto Matthew's guard. He goes to repost yep. and he did, as he does so, I just slip back a tiny bit, allowing his attack to miss and strike into his, oh, really? yeah. uh, into his head <laughs> and down his arm. No, it's just the glancing swords. Yeah. Right, so what happens here? Two attacks. Uh, I parry his uh, attack, but his sword actually flexes over uh, around my buckler and hits up his mask. Meanwhile, I'm cutting underneath his buckler, deceiving his buckler quite easily, and strike him in, in across the belly. One of the things you'll see in this bout a lot is the inability of the buckler to parry. Silver says you can parry solo with the buckler that you shouldn't um, rely on it. So what happens here is we both cutting down the centre. Because I was in more of a uh, staccato ward than a forehand ward, I needed to do a preparation, and that enabled Matthew to outspeed me. My attack was too slow. Oh, yes. He parried with the buckler, and I didn't. Now, another hit here. I'm very disappointed with this one. Matthew deceives, he looks like he's attacking the outside and then uh, well the inside, then he attacks the outside and strikes me in the mask. I nearly get back out of distance from my flight. And yep. I'm hit again, Yours. not doing too well so far. Matthew steps in, again I'm making too big a preparation Yours. and he attacks into the yep. preparation Yours and cuts me into the arm. cuts into my attack and then he cuts yep, underneath no, and I get a strike down the side of his uh, mask and into his shoulder. And again, Matthew cuts underneath here. So he cuts, I parry Gardent, I repost, he's parrying garden so I cut to the outside. He cuts underneath, striking me in the leg. I try to slip back but don't quite make it. Uh, but as I'm being struck in the leg, I get him a good solid cut onto the head. So what happens here So I cut into Matthew Perry's garden, and then as he makes a cut, I cut down across his forearm. Was it wrist? Something yep. got through a bit there. Yeah, you flicked. I don't think there was anything in that. A little bit of incidental contact there, nothing too exciting. Both of us touched each other. When we're parrying with sword and buckler together, we're mostly successful, but in cases like this, Matthew threatens to the outside and then cuts to the inside. 
and I go to parry with Buckler alone, and it's unsuccessfully manages to cut underneath it. A lot of action here, but not a hit. Matthew goes to thrust, I put it aside with the buckler. He manages to deflect my cut with his buckler. And basically both of us keep a sort of sticky hands with our bucklers on the other person's sword. And there's actually no hit in the whole exchange. I don't think any of us either has got hit there. That's bizarre. It is. Matthew threatens the outside, threatens the inside, sorry, threatens the inside, threatens the outside, comes back to the inside, and I try to parry with yes. Buckler alone. I keep relying on and the Buckler. Once again, it's unsuccessful. Don't parry with your Buckler. Silver recommends sense. to parry with the sword or the sword and Buckler together. It says you can parry with the Buckler, but don't rely on it. This time I managed to slip back. To avoid Matthew's undercut of my buckler, I parry with sword and buckler together. He parries with the sword. I slip back yep. and cut through onto his upper arm. Now, what's happening here is he goes to the outside. I go to parry. He comes back to the inside with the thrust, which I perceive with distance, and then just cut straight down the middle. He's left a little bit of a gap. I initially thought I hadn't hit him, but he assures me that it was a solid hit on his um, forearm. Now, what Matthew's done here is what pe a lot of people do. He's chicken winged what? his yeah. left arm. He's left his, put his left arm out, and I'm able to just strike straight down the line outside his buckler and hit him on the left forearm. Now, Matthew goes to attack. I, again, foolishly parry solely with the buckler. Uh, and get away with it this time and strike down into the right side of Matthew's head. A little tiny bit of that Matthew's hit again curled around the back of my buckler so I didn't come out completely unscathed. And once again, Matthew parries sword and buckler together. I go to parry sword alone. He scrapes yep. down my buckler and strikes me in the yeah, leg. So my big mistake in this bout again and again is trying to parry the buckler alone against the instructions of the master of the teaching. I go to attack, Matthew parries sword and buckler together. He comes through, I yep. try to slip. We're, we're into the mud there. Uh, mostly slip, straight. I think I've got a we're tiny bit muddy. scrape across the leg okay. and come across yep. and cut him in the high line. Matthew steps in, he's making a cut underneath and I slip back out of distance and just strike his extended arm <laughs> as it uh, comes nice into my range. Classic silver. Well, stuff Fine happening there, but the no air. hit. A couple of little... There was something shaved there. A couple of little scrapes. Neither of us. To report on. And I'll save ah. this till last. So, I threaten in the inside line threatening the outside high line. Matthew goes to parry that, that second threat yes. and Lovely. I just flow oh, around man. his parry and Thank strike you. him in the outside low line across oh. the belly. Classic silver redirection. Thanks for watching.